Hi guys, Johnny's back here again, and look at that. Me and my fiance has finally got engaged. This is a temporary ring, in for we get the real one. But today I will do some more of my pewter ingots. Um, I don't find my actual frying pan, but I know I have used this cooking instead. So I refill it with a small one and all the paper and so on gonna burn off and i'm gonna clean everything off so right now i just have some small pewter stuff in here as a starring and i have about 10 kilos i guess that is about double ones so with 20 pound of uh, pewter that i gonna melt not everything today but i need to melt it down and get some space on the balcony so i'm gonna show you what i have to um to pan well not pan but melting and make ingots in my frying pan that's what i'm gonna tell you <laughs> so stay tuned i'm gonna show you what is and what i'm gonna do so this bag are full of pewter all kind of you know stuff uh this plates they are some candle lights they are some whiskey or beer i don't know what you call it um you know just milk or whatever i don't know what you want to call it anyway but anyway everything of this is gonna be melting down into nice lovely ingot just this one i can tell you what that this one is gonna give me at least four ingots it's probably four pound just this one about two kilos maybe three so two and three pound just just this one this is quite heavy and quite nice and I have an older one, you know, so this is kind of bare. Um, becomes me well. Okay, uh, in, in English it's bear becomes me well on uh, English from the, uh, <laughs> the text. But this is quite, you see, it's quite damaged. Uh, it's squeezed a little there and it's not round anymore, but it's still pure pounder, uh, pewter. Uh, this is Scandinavian tin or pewter as you want to call it. So everything is stamped. So I know everything is pure and uh, Do have nice plates same deal everything is stamped and everything is pure um, This is a classic Swedish pure pewter or tin as you want to call it this one is also tin. We have a stamp out there. So I'm gonna be a lot of these ingots. So I'm gonna try to remelt everything and make ingots of it. So let's start up the first cooking step and start making this one. So I want to remove all the big one first and try to melt all the smaller one that fits in my cooking in this part so as, as long as it fits in there i can melt it and i have an extra fryer here just to have this as protection because this can handle the heat because it's going to be really hot when i start with the pouring uh, so i want to have safety plates i don't want to use it here because this is glass so i'm going to use this one uh, as a safety so when i flip them over make an ingot i can go back and i can remove the ingot put it away for cooling on another place so um let's stop uh, beginning the contract the contract the contact sorry and and fire up and see how far we get today so we start with that also when you start melting when it comes to some serious stuff, always protect your eyes. So this is a kind of protection sunglasses, but it still protects my eyes. So I'm gonna use this when I start to pouring 
into my ingot and so I don't, you know, get sorry about my flipping camera turning because the stance is going. So I it's starting to uh, melt soon and I'm gonna move you a little bit closer. I'm gonna flip you down a little bit so you can see here it is. And here is my uh, my mold. And when I'm pouring, I'm gonna use my protection. And also, I do have some gloves when I need to flip so I don't burn because the handle is gonna be really, really hot. So I use have protection. And then I'm gonna use a, a flyer or when you call it this one to remove the ingot so I can cool it down so I'm gonna have no come on thank you stay there Woo. so I'm gonna use the glove to flip the mold with no burning and protection that I'm not gonna get anything in my eyes and I'm gonna have this one to move my mold and put it in water. So I'm gonna have an extra pan at the side that I can put the mold to cool down faster. It's easy, you know, safe the first, you know, and I'll be back. There you go. I'll be back. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Baby, what are you talking about? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yes, my girlfriend, she's right there. Hi. Hey! So yeah, uh, it started to melt now, at least a small one. And then I'm gonna, again, put the camera on when I started to put the mold. Then I'm gonna also start the other pan here on really, really low heat, because you always want to preheat your mold before you're pouring, because that's gonna lower the, uh, for the explosion because heat and cold that's not good combination so I'm just gonna put it here a little bit hold and low temperature just to make this pan a little bit hot for the first pouring then it's gonna be hot and enough to just continue and continue so so let's see what we got it start to melting now and it's quite good. Then I'm gonna add this one because I want to have as much as I can before I just start pouring. Then I'm gonna keep it to uh, heating and heating. I do have a lot more I can add as you saw. So I'm gonna go back to you when everything is down to melting. Then ping, we are gonna do some ingots. I know this is going really, really fast to melt this one. So I have just a flyer to uh, pick up the um, the paper labels. So we get this off. And we have another one here. It's gonna be really fast to um, remove. I need to have a lot of it before I actually start the pouring. So for when this go on in the bottom one, I'm gonna add the next one. And I have another one here to uh, put down. And I have preheating my other mold on low low heat here, so I don't overcharge the uh, diffuse. I do see this is coming off. You can see the white is going to turn black. So I do need to have a lot. Of material before I actually start to um, pour otherwise it's no 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 use to have just one I have at least two or three kind of you know so while this everything is melting and filling up the uh, the cooking I gonna get some uh, another thing with water so I can cool it down the ingots faster then we're gonna weigh every ingot to see what I get so we put the next one in here 
uh, as you see, the price label come off pretty easy, and everything melts very very fast. So I'm gonna add this quickly, and I'm gonna show you when I have everything melt down and start to pouring. I just keep adding and adding and adding, and this little thing just eating my pewter like it was come melting better. Damn, that was really good. It's going really fast. I've been removing these labels by one by one. I have put up everything small pieces I can do. Uh, so I, I get as much as I can in this uh, cooking. Uh, it's starting to get quite heavy. So, and this mold is starting to get really warm. So you can put it here. And I'm starting to um, uh, pouring in a second. So I put my protection glove that I need to add. So, but first I need to remove some labels and and um, remove the um, the slag I have. Come on, give it to me. Thank you. Just need to. What we have here, okay? Dirt, dirt. We need to melt it. It's quite heavy, so I have an old uh, spoon that I can use to remove all the um, clean the surface a lot and remove all the paper as we see here. The price. Uh, when I bought it, you see, it, baby. All right. So let's make the first ingot. And start melting in. That's the first one. Really, really shiny. And I just get all the little bit of the surface. Just to maximize as much as I can. So my guess, this ingot are very close to 700 gram for the first ingot. I need to remove more of the slag. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more pewter. I'm gonna remelt, remelt everything. I know there are some stuff in here that should not be there, but but this one has to be really cooled down before I remove it from the mold. So let's add a little bit more. Let's see, what it sinks really fast. It takes seconds to mold because it's really hot and I do have some more here so just this one probably will be at least four four ingots maybe so we start with that and let's see if it can melt everything today I hope so I have to squeeze a little bit everything and let's see if I can get this out That's the first one. That's a really nice beauty. And this 
that's a really 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 nice ingot you see that that's a really cool one I'm gonna let it be here in the water and to cool down then we picked it up later and we're gonna wait it and see what we get I'll get back to you so let's do ingot number two That's ingot That's number so two. That is cool. Hi on. guys. And then I'm the fiance. Let me add the next one. You just want it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this is my pusgurka, as you say in Swedish. <laughs> Kissing and what do you call it? Yeah, and we kiss all the time. Hey, all day long. Hey, hello, baby. It's what hot here. And I'm American, so that's why I speak more. I need more uh, better fingers. English than Johnny Boy does here. Yeah. So. so that's ingot number two. Let's see what ingot number three got. Hey, asking. I will just say, oi. That I love you so much. You're the best. So let's do number three. I mean, you have got it in any case. You have got it in any case. Yeah, God, what a nice to hear. Now it's just Veronica who will. Let's do number three. And we add some more and start over again. Let's continue. Ingot number four. Ten, ten, ten ingot, eller pewter ingot. Ten tackor, typ så här, så att det smann man på. That's number four. We are about to do ingot number five. I just need to clean a little bit of the dirt. Let me add some more. Let's see how many ingots I get totally. And I'll get you in the end of the video how, how many ingots I get. So I can focus it to do everything. What I have left is this part. And a lot of that. I do have a few plates. And I got this big one from scrap, just from this part and this. So let's focus to see uh, how much I get in the end. All right, I am doing the last two pieces to melt down. This is a kind of a can, I don't know. Then we have some kind of candle stand. And this is really heavy. I don't know if there is something in the center. I don't think so, but probably it could be some kind of ceramic or gyps or something, I don't know. Or it just, uh, just pure as everything and it's an empty space in here. But this one is melting quite fast. We have the label, we can remove that one. We're gonna have some more, probably. And 
this one is pure and it's named by someone 2608241697 but it's not from 1697 but this JH that someone got it as a gift or something but still pure quite heavy this is the last one I'm gonna melt I have done a few more ingots plus this one I tried to remove this one but it was still warm so everything cracked so I have to remelt it so that's the thing with um, uh, with, with the, that's a good thing when you come to pewter if everything goes wrong you can still remelt it and do it again a, a lot faster and copper brass and aluminium so tan is actually the easiest way to work with so I'm just gonna need this to cool down a little bit more before I take it out as you see what I have done with a mold I have really tried to maximize it as you see it's over the edge as you see a lot you can see it's over the edge I over pour it because I know to try to maximize to maximize the um, the amount of uh, pewter so as the more I can do the less ingot I get and better value so I have done a few more and I'm probably gonna get guessfully two to five more ingots so uh, put in the comment below and th guess how many ingots I will get totally of all of my pewter and so it should be nice to see uh, I filmed four or five ingots uh, then I had done a few more plus I have a few more to do so please comment below think how many ingots I will get and I will do a part two of how many ingot I got from all my pewter but I'm not done filming yet I still have to add the last one and maybe I'm trying to remelt I already remelt one slag product but it's really dusty so as you can see here it's really really dusty so maybe I trying to remelt it one more time than I did with the other one uh, that's what's left behind or definitely they go into the trash as as this one probably or it's really dusty so anyway I'm gonna try to one more last time to remove the slide but as you see it's quite dusty so I just want to remove as much dirt I can to make it pure as it is to be you know so comment below see how many angles do you think I get of all of it I'm gonna melt this down and this one I have this one I just remove now and then we see the totally end of it